So the NBA season is basically back. We're kind of in the full swing of things of the preseason. And two weeks from today, it's gonna be opening night in the league. So what is going on everybody? How is everybody doing today? We have a Houston Rockets rebuild today, kind of going through most of the teams throughout the week. I've yet to do the Rockets and you guys voted on my community tab between the Mavericks, the Celtics, and them. Or excuse me, not the Mavericks, I think it was the Pelicans and you guys wanted to see the Rockets rebuild. So it's gonna be interesting because we gotta move John Wall, right? He is not coming back to Houston, it looks like he's just not gonna play this year. I don't know, I don't know what team is gonna trade for him because he wasn't very good last year. Credit, it was coming off the injury, but he's making $44 million this year, tough to trade for, and oh yeah, he's making $47 million next year. I don't think name value alone is gonna get this done. Honestly, Cleveland may do this, just to change the scenery, but I don't know if Kevin Love would be happy on a rebuilding Rockets team. John Wall, same thing in Cleveland, I don't know. So yeah, a lot of these trades wouldn't really make sense. Like maybe the Thunder would take on John Wall. You gotta give them a first round pick in return. Like something like this gets it done. And you know what, I'll, I'll give them the first round pick in 2025, swap best with the Nets. So we're gonna offer this trade John Wall to basically just get him off the team uh, and we're getting Derek Favors in return. And then the first round pick is the realistic thing where they're definitely gonna need to attach it first to get off his contract. So we'll see if the Thunder are willing to maybe take him on. But the main guy we are building around today is Jalen Green, the second overall pick in the 2021 draft. And then we also have Christian Wood, who's 26 years old. He's under contract this year and one more in their free agent. Yeah, one more year after this year, then he's a free agent. So we can figure out what we want to do with him down the line. Jay Sean Tate, a nice young rotational guy. View him and KJ Martin to be those assets for us. Kevin Porter Jr. Yeah, he's going to start at the one this year. And then, you know what, before the season starts, I would also like to make another trade. And that is going to be with the Minnesota Timberwolves. We're trading Kyrie Thomas, former Creighton. I don't know what they're called, but uh, yeah, we're moving Eric Gordon. I, I think I, I would rather give the minutes to the young guys and let him go elsewhere. And maybe Minnesota is trying to make a playoff run, get some shooting. So yeah, it's going to be Gordon and Thomas for Wayman and Prince. And the reason why we're doing this is because uh, these are expiring contracts while Gordon has one more year making 18 mil. So we might have cap space this offseason. And you know what? I don't even think I'm going to play any veterans like Favors or Nawaba. The only veteran I'll be playing is going to be Daniel Tice. I might actually have to release somebody. Um, I didn't know they had Tyler Bay as well. But yeah, I would like to get Josh Christopher some minutes. So Garuba and Christopher, can I get them the 20 apiece? I can't. So it's going to be something like 1918. Shane Good will be there. KJ Martin, Kenny Martin Jr. as a sixth man. And then we got KPJ, Jalen Green, Jay Sean Tate, Christian Wood, and Daniel Tice. So yeah, I do believe, and they are under, no, actually, I think we are fine. Uh, we could take a look at our system proficiency, seven seconds or less, with um, Coach Steven Silas, and we are definitely going to be going to that. Where is it at? There we go. Only two and a half stars. Yeah, I guess Tice and Tate aren't great fits. I'll see you guys at the end of the year. And I'm fine with not making the playoffs. I don't really expect to make it. So we were the worst team in the Western Conference this year. But Jalen Green beats out Kate Cunningham, Jalen Suggs, Evan Mobley, Scotty Barnes to get Rookie of the Year. His efficiency wasn't great. But you know what? For a rookie guard, I could get behind that 18 points a night. I'm just hoping he gets around that or more next year, but a better efficiency. So John Wall wins sixth man of the year in OKC behind, I guess, Shea Gildas Alexander. So yeah, you wanted out. I got you out. I never said that you were going to a contender. But I don't think that the Houston Rockets are going to finish as the worst team in the Western Conference or even the NBA. As there's Green, obviously, on all first team. I um, mean, we do get out when Shea on second team. Even though that John Wall's not playing for them uh, and Eric Gordon, who knows what's gonna happen with him. Either way, I don't think that they will be that bad. I think like teams like the Thunder and possibly the Spurs will be worse than them. Christian Wood was our second winning score, 18 points, nine and a half rebounds. 47 from the field, not bad, but the three-point and free throw percentages weren't very good. Kevin Porter Jr., whoa, I didn't even realize. He led us in scoring, 19 points, six and a half assists, all right. Efficiency still not great, but I'm hoping it improves with some of these guys next year. There's Alper and Shangun. I would like to start him next year at the center position. Uh, move Tice to the bench. There's Kenyon Martin. Oh, wow. A lot of our young guys really didn't shoot the ball well at all. The only player that looks like he shoot the ball well was Kenyon Martin Jr. All right, Jay Sean Tate. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Daniel Tice, not great. Uh, Usman Garuba, there he is. All right, so we aren't in the playoffs, obviously, so let's just see who wins the 2022 finals. I'm going to say it's the Celtics and Clippers, and it is neither one of those teams. It is the Heat beating the Mavericks, a rematch from the 2011 NBA Finals, but this time 
the Heat win. So we have the second highest odds of getting number one pick. I'll see you guys around pick seven slash six to see where we end up. All right, so pick seven is up, which I think we could fall to, but, or no, I think six is the lowest. So let's see what happens. The Nuggets have jumped into the top four. Uh, please don't be us, please don't be us. Okay, so we don't fall to six. Does that mean we fall to five? I don't know. We're supposed to be five and we are five. So we drop three picks in the strip. We also have the 26th pick as well. That is from Brooklyn, obviously from the James Harden trade. All right, we have a bunch of money here, so I'm gonna be signing a perimeter D, a post D, and a wing whisperer coach, so we pretty much have our whole staff up. I just need a big man, and let's get Sammy Burns. So now we have a full coaching staff here in Houston. So it is the NBA draft time, and we have the fifth overall pick. We also have 26. I don't think I'm gonna be making a trade as much as I would like to move Daniel Tice. Don't know who would maybe want him at right now, so he's probably gonna be our backup big next year, and I'm just gonna draft my two new rookies. All right, so I got a guard with the sixth overall pick, and that was J.D. Davison out of Alabama. I was also thinking of maybe going after Kennedy Chandler, Gene Montero, A.J. Griffin, but I ended up going with Davison. Patrick Baldwin actually maybe would have been the better selection. Oh, wow, okay, maybe I'm regretting that. And then at 26, I ended up getting Caleb Houston, which I thought was an absolute steal, getting him that late in the draft, and then we got Vic Krejci coming over uh, from the, uh, he was a Euro stash, so he's coming over, he was in the John Wall trade. Favors opts in, oh, that's annoying, okay. Um, definitely not picking up the team option on DJ Augustine. So at this moment, going into free agency, we have like kind of a bunch of players on this team right now. We have like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, yeah, we have a lot of guys, I don't know. I, I don't know if I'm gonna make my Christian Wood trade. I mean, I don't think this is gonna be able to work, but could I maybe do a Christian Wood, Derek Favors, and like a young in trade, like a, a throw on a Josh Christopher? Well, could that give me a Ben Simmons? I wouldn't mind Ben Simmons for my future and they get maybe a better, nah, I'd rather have Simmons over Wood, but they're getting some depth there. Well, they, I don't even know if they would accept this. Wow, they do. Okay, so we just traded for Ben Simmons. That's a pretty massive move. All right, so I don't know what position he's gonna be. I envision him maybe as our power forward with Shangoon as our center next year. So, and then I could maybe just start Caleb Houston. So yeah, I feel like a lot better about the team's kind of overall roster construction. I'm not gonna sign anybody. Actually, it'd be kind of cool to bring back James Harden. I would have to clear up 12 mil, which would be possible if I traded away Daniel Tice and David Nwaba. All right, so we're trading David Nwaba and Daniel Tice to the Nets for Javon Carter. Now, I'm hoping this means the Nets can't afford him. He does have 12 offers. Please tell me. Okay, the Wizards are his only real offer. I feel like we can outbid the Wizards. Oh, I got to clear up about three more mil. So the Lakers are giving me a 2026 first round pick for Javon Carter. We are doing that. Now, let's go after James Harden. That is the most I could give you. Let's give him the absolute most player option no trade cost because how cool would it be if we brought back James Harden to Houston he's there with Ben Simmons Jalen Green I feel like this would be a very nice team and we don't get him boo he chose the Wizards over us really he chose the Wizards all right well, let's hope they don't have money and he appears again yes okay okay let's see if we can get him again come on come on I need you James Harden I need you so this is the most I can give him Player option, no trade cause, please. Damn it, <laughs> he goes back to the Nets. Oh my God, that's so annoying. I thought if I traded the Nets Tyson, Nuwaba, they would have had no shot. All right, well, how many guys do I have on this team? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, all right. I guess we're just gonna have another young core again, and then maybe we'll look to land a big name free agent next year. So play progression, Simmons is an 85. We got Jalen Green at an 84, KPJ at an 80. Everybody else went up besides the two rookies and Ben Simmons. So let's see how I wanna construct this starting five. I think I definitely wanna start uh, Kevin Porter Jr. at the point guard position. We'll have Tate coming off the bench. We'll start Kenyon Martin. Okay, something like this. All right, so this is how the starting nine is going to look like, basically, or just the nine man rotation. Vic Reggie will not be in it. So we got KPJ, Green, Simmons, Kenyon Martin Jr., and Alperin Shangun with a bench of J.D. Davis and Jay Sean Tate, Caleb Houston, and Usman Garuba. System proficiency with that seven seconds or less is up a full star from two and a half. I think it was two and a half to now three and a half. Shangun, not a great fit. We'll probably have to work on that eventually. I'll see you guys at the end of the year, and I think we could be in the play-in tournament this year. All right, so we couldn't make the play-in tournament. I was, we were the 14th seed in the Eastern Conference. Jason Tatum wins MVP, though. What a season he had. Oh, my God. I wonder if we could do that in real life, because people do think that Jason Tatum is a dark horse MVP candidate this year. 
Christian Wood, six men of the year. You wouldn't put Tobias at the three, him at the four, and beat at the five. Then why would you? I don't care. That just doesn't make a lot of sense. And we get nobody on an all NBA team. I'm sure we got JD Davidson at least on, on yeah, on all rookie second team. He was really good. That was an all rookie first team. All right, so we had a big decision to make as Kevin Porter Jr. is an expiring contract. He was willing to resign with me. He wanted about 16 mil a year. And I said, nope, we might resign you but it will be in the off season. He's coming off a not a bad year. I just want to see if there was like somebody in free agency that's like a James Harden stature. And I'm like, all right, I would obviously choose that player over KPJ. But Jalen Green was phenomenal this year. He had a great rookie to sophomore jump. Look at that, 53% to 62% in true shooting percentage. There's KPJ. There's Ben Simmons. Oh, those were per 36. Okay, yeah, yeah. Um, He averaged 14, six and nine. All right, two steals. There's JD Davison. Upridge Sangu was actually pretty good. He just can't hit his threes. And then there's Kenny Martin, Caleb Houston, Jay Sean T, and Usman Garuba. Okay, obviously it's very nice that they're all under their team contracts. Besides, is KJ Martin a free agent? Or does he have one more year? He's got one more year under team control, very nice. So let's see who wins the 2023 NBA championship and it is the Brooklyn Nets over the Memphis Grizzlies. Kevin Durant is your finals MVP. Oh, they have Clint Capella now. <laughs> Oh my god, that team is just so good. All right, so we have the 2023 draft lottery. We should have our pick correct. Uh, I'm a little scared because I don't see us. The Nets, okay, no, I'm pretty sure we get the swap best out of those picks. So we'll see what's happening around pick seven. All right, so I think that we could fall to eight possibly. I'm not sure. I don't think this is going to be us though. And it is the Thunder. That means the Rockets and Suns have moved into the top four. Boom, we get a little bit lucky. So let's hope that we are in the top two because I would not mind adding Amani Bates or Victor Wembe and Yama to this team. So let's see what happens. The Knicks are six. All right, so we can't be five. This is intense, guys. This is intense. Let's hope that we aren't four. Come on. Come on, come on. Don't give me four. Don't give me four. Don't give me four. And boom. Boom. Let's go. Are we going to get three? No, we're in the top two. Let's go. Oh, my God. We have gone up to number one. We win the lottery. Yes. Yes. Oh, my God. I haven't won the lottery like that in forever. I think we have the sixth best odds. We have the Milwaukee Bucks pick at 26 as well. Wow. So I got number one. Oh my God, I don't know what to do with it. I have no idea. Actually, I do know what I'm gonna do. I think um, I'm gonna move Ben Simmons to the four and then I do wanna resign Steven Silas. But yeah, I'm gonna move Ben Simmons to the four and then I think I'm gonna drift Bates and then start him. I think that's the most logical solution or we just think, wait, did Steven Silas retire? Nope, he's just right here. Uh, so I could go after Baniyama though, and then just like think Shingun is not the long-term mentor at the five, it's just a free agency. There's some good centers there. Like I never really could sign Embiid. I mean, Jokic will be there, so let's see. Let's go to the NBA draft. Yeah, so I started using OESC and T's classes, so just wanted to make sure they were real um, and it wasn't like a work in progress. So, man, who do I draft? I, I, I don't know. The mock drafts have me going. Derek Lively. <laughs> Benyama, Benyama, oh man. Okay, so maybe I shouldn't take Bates. Maybe I go, yeah, maybe I go uh, Victor Wan Benyama here with the number one pick. And then I guess worst things worse, I can move Ben Simmons to the three, Benyama to the four, and then still sign a center. It could be an option. I think I'm gonna go with Wan Benyama here. I think I'm gonna take him. Uh, yeah, we're gonna take uh, Victor Wan Benyama with the first overall selection. And then we're taking Jamie and Brakefield here at pick 20. I think that was six. We had, again, two years in a row, we had pick 26. Yeah, so here are our two new rookies on the squad. Team player options, picking it up on everyone. I mean, because she has a zero dollar option, I might as well. And yeah, I'm gonna be picking it up on everybody else. So Jay Sean Tate and Kevin Porter Jr. are gonna be getting qualifying offers, so at least they're restricted. Now, MB did not make it to free agency, but Nikola Jokic did. We have about 34 million to spend, but that means I would be saying goodbye to Tate and Porter Jr. I mean, I think Davison's like good enough as our point guard where he could be like our starter next year. I just don't know what to do. Like if we look at the centers, yeah, Jokic, does he have all like real deals? No. So if I could just get it, anything, he would probably accept it. Man, that's tough. How many real deals? Okay, LeBron does have a couple real deals. Let me see what their cap holds are at the moment because is there a way? All right, it's $6 million. So I would have to like sign Jokic. I would have to clear up like $10 million to keep those guys, which is just going to be impossible at this point. If you kind of look at some of these salary caps, yeah. I don't know. Maybe I just go after Vucevic then? Or do I just bring, bring back Christian Wood? Maybe I'll bring back Christian Wood. I don't know. Wendell Carter Jr. is actually pretty good in the sim. 
Yeah, honestly, I might bring in Wendell Carter Jr. And then I could still afford Kevin Porter Jr. and um, Jay Sean Tate. But I guess I don't need a center with Wen Van Yamet, but then there's no really good power forwards here. I mean, Jeremy, oh, there's Chris on Porzingis. All right, um, he doesn't have any deals, right? Wow, he's an 83 overall, that's a shame. I'm just gonna advance one day, renounce the rights on everybody else. Uh, please don't tell me he has, a, he has a deal. Damn it, damn it, please don't tell me it's a real deal. Okay, I would offer you about, let's see, like I said, I gotta save about $6 million. So could I do like this, player option? Okay, I think we can land him. Let's go, let's go. And I get to keep Tate and Porter Jr. Okay, that's actually a massive pickup. Boom, there we go. Now let's bring them back, and then we are absolutely chilling. There's Kevin Porter Jr., and then there's Jay Sean Tate. So right now, it's going to be probably KPJ, Jalen Green, Ben Simmons, KP, Wen Banayama. Yeah, that's going to be the starting five. So player progression, Jalen Green's up to a 90 overall, it says in the top, right? Ben Simmons, 86. There's KP, J.D. Davis, and Caleb Houston. Porter Jr. really didn't go up, but it actually some of his attributes went up, so I'll take it. And yeah, I don't know who's going to be the odd man out. Like, Garuba might not be in the rotation next year. Yeah, so I think Garuba is going to be the odd man now. Jay Sean Tate's only going to be getting about like 10 minutes a night. Damn. Um, and then I guess 29 to the front court here, 31 to Ben Simmons, 34 to Jalen Green, and Davidson's going to be getting 26, so he's going to be getting a decent amount. So it's definitely going to be changing when the playoffs come. Um, I'll probably get more minutes to the starters, less minutes to the bench. So I'll see you guys at the end of the year. This team is really good, and we should make the playoffs for the first time in this video. There we go. So we make the playoffs for the first time in this video as they succeed, so we don't even have to worry about the playing tournament, which is very nice. It's Chet Holmgren. Oh, man. I guess they're not going to start him and Evan Mobley there at the same time. Or, yeah, they really should just start it. Mobley at the four, which they're already doing, but Jared Allen has been very good for them, it looks like. He's coming off. Arguably, that is actually the best year of his career. Ah, look how good Bueno Carter Jr. is. I'm, I'm sure he did better than Chris Stubbs Porzingis, probably. Jalen Duran wins most improved on the Detroit Pistons, even though it was his second year, so that's kind of silly that he won the award. You'd think that a guy going into his second year would be improving. No Houston Rockets once again on an All-NBA team. D'Anthony Melton, all defensive first. Wow, what a great year from D'Anthony Melton. All right, you love to see that. And there's Victor Wembanyama on all rookie first team. So we have the OKC Thunder in the playoffs, which is actually an interesting rivalry that could end up happening. They're going Josh Giddy at the three, risky. Very risky, but I guess he is 6'8", so I guess they could pull something off like that. They got Michael Foster, Jerry, Christian Wood. The Christian Wood Revenge Series. Let's see what we got. But yeah, here are the player stats really quickly. Jalen Green, but in scoring. J.D. Davison maybe sh showing me that he should be in the starting five, not Kevin Porter Jr. KP was good. It's obviously his shot volume isn't as high as it once was. And then there's Wemba Yama, Ben Simmons, Martin Houston, Shane Goon, Tate. All right, so let's see what 2K comes up with for the playoffs. And I'll let them decide. So they want to go Davison. All right, uh, they're going to go a 10-man rotation. All right, let's see what we can do. I listen to you, 2K. Can we knock off the Thunder in an upset? That would be great if we can. And we beat them in game one. Let's go by one point. You got to win the close ones. And we have a great chance with Jalen Green is dropping 37 for us. Game two, we also pick up a dub by 15. So we just won both in OKC. Caleb Houston with 20 points off the bench. Look at that. Or Wait, was it 20 points or did he just have 25 and I can't read? There's 20 points. All right, game three, we're up 3-0. Oh my God, we beat him by 11 KP with 27. And yeah, we are one game away from just sweeping them. And we swept them. Wow, what an upset. Would you look at that? Ben Simmons drops 29, seven and seven in game four. So next up we have the Sacramento Kings. They have a lineup of Darren Fox, Tyrus Hopper, so a great backcourt. And they got healed Bagley, Holmes, Boucher, Davian Mitchell, Kennedy Chandler, a lot of good guards over there. Scooter Henderson as well. I think we should be fine. We do beat them in game one by 16. But I'm not gonna say this is gonna be easy. No, I'm not gonna get too cocky because I thought we were gonna lose there. We are undefeated in the playoffs so far as the sixth seed. Can we go up 3-0? Oh my God, look at that. We beat them by 10. We are now one game away from going to the conference finals. Okay, just don't blow a 3 0 lead. Thank you. We win in five. We are 8 and 1 in the playoffs as the sixth seed. That is actually mind blowing, but this team is really good. I think, like, on paper, we should have been like a top four seed in the Western Conference. So I'm not really too surprised. I do kind of want to see what we did in round two. Those were the round one numbers. And then round two, it looks like Jalen Green dropped 22 for us, basically. JD Davis in 15. Chris Lasporzig is 15 as well. Benny Yama, all right. But everyone's shooting very well from the field besides Caleb Houston. So we got the Warriors. 
They got Steph, Clay, Kaminga, Nance, Wiseman. All right, good team, but still beatable. They are the four seed. Game one, we beat them. Guys, oh my God, we blow them out. <laughs> Come on, let's go up 2-0. Nope, all right, so we do lose the closest one. It's our first game this really whole playoffs that um, we lose in the early stage, but we do go up 2-1. to one. We beat them by six. We come right back and win a close one. Game four, oh, I tie it up. Mm. Next thing, you know, we gotta go back to Golden State. Two to two, I don't like this. I don't like this. I don't wanna be down three to two. And it's looking not good. <laughs> it's not looking good at all unless we come back here in the fourth, which ooh, we almost kinda did. Oh my God, we're down by five. We're down by four, can we come back? Oh my God, we're down by five, please. Down by three, let's see what I can do. All right, we do not have the ball. Let's just get the starters in. It looks like Kevin Porter or Jalen Green fouled out. Yeah, damn, Jalen Green fouled out. Uh, they're obviously just gonna try to get it to Steph. I'm right there, oh, yes, no, I thought I was gonna get a steal there. Steph's trying to drive when Benny Yama is right there, KPJ, he's got A minus perimeter D. Wiseman, oh my God, no, no, I thought he was gonna pass it inside, so I dropped back a little bit. Ugh. All right, we got J.D. Davidson coming off a screen right here. Oh, I would get a good look, but the pass is just always off. But he, can he get around Steph? Damn, I really thought he could. No, come on. Mm -hmm. Yes, got him in the air. Beautiful. There we go. All right, got that bucket back. All right, Steph's driving. I'm right here. I'm right here. Oh, my God, we got a tip. Let's go. Caleb Houston with the ball up to Kevin Porter Jr. I'm going right at Jordan Poole. Poole. What? Why didn't I get a layup animation? What? Moses Moody driving. I'm right here with Ben. How did I not block that? Oh, I'm... Selling hard. All right, we're doing the pick and roll, Kevin Porter. Oh, no. Oh my God, okay. I actually thought that was Kenny Martin Jr. Was that an end one? Oh, let's go, that's huge. Okay, I thought that was Caleb Houston. Draymond fouls out. I really thought that that was gonna get stolen. Kevin Martin Jr., I lo <laughs> I suck. I've never taken a free throw in this game with Kevin Martin Jr. And oh my God, I just sold so hard on that. I'm here, I'm here, charge, charge. Yes! Yes, it was a charge! Let's go! Oh, and we're in the bonus. All right, Baniyama, please don't have a weird free throw release. First one, good. Oh my god, imagine I hit that with Kim Martin Jr. Jeez, all right. Two for two, please? Damn. All right, so we would have been tied up right now if I could have hit that free throw. Step driving, oh no, Kuminga wide open for three. Damn, that hurts. All right, we gotta play developing. It looks like it was for Ben Simmons. Why would I wanna get Ben Simmons on the perimeter? Oh my God, thank God I got fouled. That was a risky decision. I thought I had a lane, but I am very lucky. I do not like being on the road right now. Them shaking the screen. Me not taking any free throws with these plays before it hurts. But I go two for two, down by two. We need a stop. Oh, that hurts. <laughs> that hurts so much. Trying to get the two for one with J.D. Davison. Ah, oh, there's 23.6 seconds left. All right, just don't foul Steph. We can foul anybody but Steph or Clay. Oh, Jesus. All right, no, no. He's going to hit his free throws. All right, so we're in the bonus. Uh, no, he's not missing these. No shot. All right, so we're kind of running a three-point play here for J.D. Davidson. A great look. Bang! J.D. Davidson makes it a one-point game. All right, that is huge. We just don't want to foul Steph. We just don't want to foul Steph. We get, and Clay's just as good as foul, our free throw shooter, but a little bit worse, so who knows. First one, no good. We only needed two to send us to overtime. All right, I think J.D. Davis had fouled out, so they put in Caleb Houston as our point guard. Interesting decision. All right, let's get a screen here from Chris Stops. Let's just get this pick and roll to work. It's kind of risky here, but KP gets that to go. Two perfection, tied up at 125 apiece. We're going to get our defensive lineup out here, so we got Usman Garuba in, KP out. And I left Steph open. Yikes. All right, well, this is it right here. I'm actually gonna get an all right look. Three, two, one. Kevin Porter Jr., just no way that goes in. I fucking blew that. All right, game six here, come on. Winner, go home. We gotta win this one, and we're not off to a good start. Ugh, down by double digits. Oh my God, what? We get blown out. Like, we were getting blown out last game too. That just sucks. Wow, we can go play so well this whole run, and we end up losing by 16. Damn, we made it to the conference finals, and the Cavs win it all. I feel like we could have beat them, too. So I don't even think we have any, like, random first-round picks here, so I'm going to probably just run this team back. Yeah, we do have the Nets pick at 16. So we end up with Matt Bewley, who's going to the overtime league at 16. I'll sign my second-round picks. Why not? So I'm sure we have somebody that's a free agent, Kenny Martin Jr. I'd like to bring him back. He's pretty good. So let's lock him up right there on a four-year deal, or it's going to end up being his one-year deal because I did it. 
during moratorium, but I think this could be the year that we win it all anyway. I think this team is too good to get eliminated early again. All right, so they want to start J.D. Davis in this year. You know what? Let's try it. We're going to go with this in 10-man rotation. They want to give Garuba minutes, none to Jay Sean Tate, none to Matt Bewey. That's fine. So, yeah, we'll see how this team goes. We should be a top seed in the Western Conference. Four stars, seven seconds or less. I'll see you guys at the end of season number, what is this, four now? Second team in the power rankings, first in the conference. This has to be our year that we can win it all. You know, we've actually built this team up. We've had our two bad years in year one and two. Then year three, which was last year, we made it to the conference finals, but we came up just short. Tower Hero, wow, he has blossomed into a superstar in this league. And we are the one seed. So we have the eight seeded Kings who we beat last year. And oh, they traded for Kawhi Leonard. What, Kawhi looks like signed with the Blazers and was traded for Fox? Oh, I didn't even realize that. Oh my God. Uh, interesting decision to make that move. I mean, they do have a lot of good guards, but at this stage in their careers, I think I prefer De'Aaron Fox because Kawhi is how old right now? He's 33, but in 2K, it looks like he's getting a little bit worse. So yeah, this is going to be the rotation and let's get into the playoffs. Round one against the Sacramento Kings. Oh, we lost game one, but we end up winning four in a row, so it's all good. J.D. Davison goes off in round one. Yeah, he has blossomed into a superstar as well. Can we beat the Denver Nuggets, who still have Jokic, and they have R.J. Barrett, Jaden Hardy. They don't have Murray anymore, but they have Nikola Vucevic and Derek Lively, who they took, what, overall fifth? They have a lot of good centers. They have both Nikolas. Can we beat them, though, and go to the conference finals? Oh, yeah, we don't beat them. We don't just beat them, we sweep them. And now we got Memphis, who are starting Luke Kennard. All right, I think we should be okay against them. So can we go to the NBA Finals in year four? Boom, we are 12-1, we're on in what? We're on a 16 game winning streak because we lost our first game in the playoffs and we've won 16 in a row. So next, we got Cleveland, who are very, they're very good because Setsline is developing, Aquaro's developing, their front court is all developing. They got D'Lo as well, Aaron Gordon, O'Neal, a couple good defenders. Can we knock them off and win the finals and end the video off on a... Wow. Now. So that's just the dynasty right there. We have walked in to the Cleveland Cavalier dynasty. I don't think I've rebuilt them on 2K22, but they're going to be really fun, like building around Garland, Mobley, etc. But either way, I hope you guys did enjoy. We went to the finals in year four. That's pretty much where I wanted this team to go, and that's pretty much all I wanted to do was really develop this team through the draft with their... 2021 picks and then also getting some new guys like Benny Yama, Davison, Houston, Matt Buell, but we didn't end up using him. But yeah, I hope you guys did enjoy. Drop a like if you did. Let me know down below which team we should rebuild next. I love you guys and I'll catch y'all in the next one. Peace.